The documentary friends. Hey, hey friends. <laughs> Welcome Hello, to the friends. documentary friends. So I want to show um, how this was all created. Um, the movie will look completely different, like completely different. Like, take a look at the lights. Like, our lighting is like top notch. I made like, that. You made that. Okay. I also made that. Great. That, that, great. That, okay. That, that. Okay. And this, like, like everything here is so prepared. Like, I don't even know. This looks like a speaker, but it like probably isn't. So, um, there is a microphone, and I'm gonna give a set tour. Okay, I'm coming with you because I know. So this is a set tour. Um, uh, here we have the where we shoot, obviously, and this is where the audience sits. And then the audience, audience says, depending what? on how much they have to pay, depending on how much they pay. Up there's like stuff up there and stuff. And then art over there. We have unlimited. Oh, that is so because you know, this whole sometimes. Look, look at how zoomed in everyone is, like, please. Yeah. Wait, oh I want to get on. Like this is fairly cool. Like, honestly, I want your like full review of the set. Do you like this set? It's very cool. Do you think we did like a good job with like no, decorations no, 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 and everything? I expect it to be terrible, but actually, hey, oh my gosh, get ready! I think it'll be very cool. Like, we actually set up this before. Everything is being set up. Had the tree. Can you pull it pull it tighter? No, I'll pull mine tighter. Just. This is very good painting, good job. Oh, and then behind the picture, behind the picture, we got all the cars. Thank you very much. We got really good cars behind the picture. Good check. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Good cars behind the picture, too. Mr. Boots, he's not going to be I gotta go talk to the head people. I'm gonna go talk to the head people because they are being in the documentary. You need to help them with the tripod. That's actually really important. Yeah. Wait, you have the camera though. Because I need a documentary. I haven't started filming. Is that Susanna is out there? Hey, friends. Say hi to the documentary. How do you feel about the whole movie? How do you think it'll turn out? Be honest. All the stuff that we like, be honest. Like, yeah, even if you think it might not turn great. Just so you know, I recorded behind the scenes. Working well right now. I feel like this is gonna be a lot harder. Wait, what are you doing with that? Oh, wait, is that our head? Oh my God! Wait. There's one thing you didn't show. We we think we think the clay models are gonna be kind of. Like, a little, a little the clay models. This actually seems like a cool idea, though. So I mean, we'll see, right? Painting tennis balls not fun. Okay, so are you ready to get back to the stage? No, not yet. We got to talk to these people. Hey, friends, how do you feel about the whole thing? Like, honest, honest opinion. Thanks. Every time they come in here, honest opinion. Uh, about what? Of like how you think everything will turn out, everything. I think it will turn out okay. Do you think our models and like set design and like cars I, I think good? those are good. But I think that's good. Oh. Me? What did I do? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I worked on the whole turtle, like I'm doing the documentary and stuff, like. I'm, we're probably gonna go back to the set. Break time. Break time. Bye. Bye.
We have paint brushes, we have paint palettes, we have clay. All these things are available for you to use here, but many of these same products and materials that we use, you can purchase at home. You can purchase from Amazon. You may be able to borrow from a friend. So we're teaching you, hopefully, some really great skills. We're teaching you about art, and then you can take that back home and hopefully recreate it on your own.
to focus on a neck. So what you want to do, you want to put a circle. You're going to put a circle there? Yeah, like that. So then after that, you are going to have to draw a body. So you're going to want to draw a neck. That. And so you have that. And then you're going to want to draw the hair. And then you're going to want to do Okay. <clears throat> so, what? as I was saying, you're going to um, draw the hair later. And you're going to actually draw the legs first and then once you've done that you're gonna and then you're gonna like do the hair like, like this and th and then uh, and then and and then and then you know what? <laughs> so how about let's try let's try the um let's draw tail. So we're gonna have it like like we're gonna have it in like a swishy position. That way. The whole way through. Uh, you don't wanna do that. How about we make it like. So now that we have it good, we're going to. <sighs> How about we draw the eyes first? So you're gonna want to draw the eye like that. And. <sighs> oh, like that, because that sucks. Guys, 
welcome back. We have a returning guest. May you welcome back, Dee. Hi. Oh, hi. Well, let's get down to business, Dee. How many diseases do you have? Uh, one. Her butt is not wet anymore. It is just rainbow color. What? You know, I'm your grandma. to get famous nowadays and everybody has asked for it nobody's no asked for no this no one has man shut no, up nobody well anyways here it is here is my butt for i declare a film war of stuff can you do here oh my gosh you can do all the things first of all we are free so anybody can come here and just walk around our arts park um, if you are coming here specifically for camp um, you could take classes in clay that could be wheel throwing that could be clay tiles 
making cups and bowls. We have painting classes that you can take here. There's a really cool class next week for six to 10 kids called um, Portraits. So they're gonna be doing painting, but also mixed media projects. We have movie making. We have photography classes. We have digital art. Um, we have manga classes. We have wood classes. We have steel. We literally have all the things. Favorite part of being a camp director is seeing all the faces of our kids being here again. Look at all you guys. You're so cute. Everybody is so fun. I love working with kids. I love being able to do something with art and something creative. I think what I'm most proud about is being in a community with people who have similar interests and we're all a little quirky too in our different ways and I love that. My favorite class for the little kids right now we have a class called Color Explosion um, and I think that's really fun where you get to just play with color but you're also learning about artists as well who have done a lot with color at the Indianapolis Art Center. We want to have a time for you to, of course, create art, but we also want you to learn about the history of art. So learning about famous artists, and then being able to recreate some of those pieces. Now we have basic tools here for you to use. We have paint brushes, we have paint palettes, we have clay. All these things are available for you to use here, but many of these same products and materials that we use, you could purchase at home. You could purchase from Amazon. You may be able to borrow from a friend. So we're teaching you, hopefully, some really great skills. We're teaching you about art, and then you can take that back home and hopefully recreate it on your own. I would hope some people from movie making camp will also learn, take their skills that you've learned and go home and maybe make their own movie.
students is cool because I have been really impressed all summer because these kids are really creative and make really cool stuff. I haven't worked with kids in a while, especially in an artistic setting, and I love seeing everything that they do. That's, it's... All right. What, what are your thoughts on the, like the art in the galleries and stuff? The art in the galleries. Um, I think it's. Really, I have a few favorite pieces in the gallery right now. So I've only I've only seen one gallery showing since I've been here, and it's the current one. And there's a lot of bodies up right now, so it's interesting seeing being with kids and having them see sort of naked bodies in the gallery. Um, it sparks some interesting discussion. But I really like the gallery showing right now. I think it's very interesting and relevant. All right, thank you. That's all we need. Okay. Uh, at the Indianapolis Art Center, uh, I've really enjoyed my time here. It's been great to work with the kids. Uh, the summer camps are all really interesting and fun. Um, so far, a highlight has just been the co-workers. Uh, they've been really nice and everyone here is pretty uh, enjoyable to be around.
It's your first day. Aren't you excited? Yeah. What's wrong? I hate going to school. Why can't I just be homeschooled? I'm sorry. I don't have time to teach you. If your father was still here, maybe. But you're just going to have to go to school for now. Fine. You should be a bit more excited. Don't you have theater class this year in school? Wait. Yeah, I do. That's great. I think you should head out to the bus now. OK. OK. Love you. Have a good day. Love you, too. Everyone always cares about themselves, never about anyone else. Not even the teachers care about the students. They get the tension for everything. It's super annoying. That's why I skip class. I don't care about anyone. Besides, the only students and teachers that are, all, that are cool are all in theater. They're, they think of themselves as family. I want to be a part of that family. But I will, after third period. The school sucks. That. Now's my chance to escape. No, I don't think so. You need to go to the principal's office and I will be talking to you later, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Great. The teacher always catches me. Oliver, it hasn't even been two weeks and you're already skipping class. I expected better from you. You'll have detention after school. But today's the first day of rehearsal. And if you keep skipping class, I will have Mr. Hank pull you from the show. Yes, Principal Waters. Detention will be in room two or three from the end of school until four. Go back to class. Great. I should have kept my mouth quiet. Then I wouldn't have risked a play. <laughs> Detention went on forever. It felt like an eternity. Now I can go to rehearsal finally. Hope I'm not too late. Well, 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 Oliver. It's nice of you to finally show up. Where have you been? Uh, hi, Mr. Hank. I, I was busy. Okay, okay, all right. Well, Dakota can catch you up. If you're late a fourth time, or if you skip another rehearsal, I'm taking you out of the show. Yes, sir. Great. Now I either sit through my boring classes or I find a safer way to skip class. One is riskier than the other, but I don't know what to do. Just a little bit more. This will all pay off in the end, then I'll be free. Everybody turns to page 20, and I need everybody to take a look. We are going to have a discussion about our scene here using the vocabulary of the Albert. months, I suffered through most of my classes, every single day. Did I learn new things? Yes. Were my grades better? Yes. Was my mom proud of me? Yes. Did I enjoy it? Absolutely not. It was boring, it took forever, and I almost fell asleep several times. But it was worth it. The only other time I missed rehearsal was for a doctor's appointment. My mom didn't tell me about it. Rehearsal kept me going through all of this. It was my motivation my drive, and tomorrow is opening night. I'm so excited. I may be an ensemble, but next year, I have a chance of getting to be the main role, a main character.